Welcome back to Drew's News. We have a legend at the desk. She's a writer with many best-selling titles under her belt. A little book called Sex in the City launched one of the biggest wow. cultural phenomenons of our time. Please welcome Candace Bushnell. Yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I am, I'm so thrilled to be here because we saw each other at a fashion show. And I said, Candace. And you said, come on the show. And I said, I'd love to. And you made it happen. Girl. You've got the power. <laughs> well, <laughs> unlike Mark Cuban, who I shyly did not approach, we were lucky enough to get to converse. And I mean, I'm such a fan and an admirer of Sex and the City. And I'm curious where your book ends and the series continues to go on. What is and, your <laughs> feelings and opinions of everything? I mean, you literally launched a cultural phenomenon. Well, it's, it's actually, it's been amazing. And it's amazing that, you know, the show has lasted for so long in so many different iterations. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, Sex in the City is actually a small part of my career. And I've written several best-selling books, and I've had two other TV shows, Lipstick Jungle yep. and The Carrie Diaries. Yeah. I love both! And, sorry, love. And my new book and my new stage show, which I wrote and performed in called Is There Still Sex in the City, is really about an exploration of the sex in the city woman in her 50s and 60s. Mm. So that's something that I'm going to continue with that and try to turn that into a TV series. Uh, one thing that I do love is, again, relationships and being the queen of New York dating and columns and everything that you are and do. I was wondering if you would hit two dating headlines with us. I absolutely would. All right, Fantastic. Candace, Let's take do it. it away. You got the first headline. Okay, go. I think I have to put on my glasses. Cute. Okay, there's so many new dating terms, it's hard to keep track. Now, Elite Daily reports that there's a word for when you get all dressed up, hair done, makeup ready, dressed to the nines, only to have your date text and cancel. It's called glamboozled. <laughs> That's cute. And a dating survey says that 58% of daters say they've been glamboozled. A good rule of thumb is if you haven't heard from him an hour before the date, Hold off on those lashes. Uh, now, the question is, have either one of you been glamboozled or have you been the glamboozler? No, try it. You try, you try to glamboozle me, you better show up with a receipt, a doctor's note, or a neck brace. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. not, not happening. You, know, you don't get a date number two. How many people in the audience have been glamboozled? Not that many of us. Either we're not being honest or we're, there's a very lucky audience here. <laughs> okay, who is glamboozled? No oh. one's gonna admit, did somebody admit that? Yes, you did! I love it. You have a microphone and a camera coming to you. Aren't you so glad you raised your hand, sir? <laughs> why, why did you glamboozle someone? I got nervous and scared. Oh. I mean, we've all done it. You're all liars. <laughs> How interesting that it's because you got nervous and scared. See, it wasn't even about the other person. And that's why someone's going to take that and be like, what's wrong with me? That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Someone stood me up and I thought, God, did they hear something about me? Or, and I went through this whole laundry list and I just thought, you know what? No, they don't know me. They don't know anything about me. And this is on them, and I just need to carry on with my afternoon and not make this mm -hmm. a reason to self-loathe. Forget it. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, what about this, you guys? Vogue is asking this important question. What do you call the person that you've just started dating? Well, when, when Carrie dated the Russian on Sex and the City, remember she yes. said, I've taken a lover. You remember that? Lover. Alexander yes. Petrovsky, of course. Y yes, well, but that, that quote doesn't work for everybody. Because if you just say that's the person I'm dating, that can feel clunky, right? So Vogue, yes. Vogue suggests some other options. They call them your, your flame, your extended fling, your suitor, your crush. I just, oh God, I don't like any of these. I feel I like- I say my future ex-husband. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Problem solved, right? I think though, if you're starting to call 
who you're just seeing something, they're going to stop calling you back because that just seems like too much pressure. No? Uh, yes, I could. Well, for me, the word lover is that is a strange thing to, to for me to call somebody because it feels like it's French. Nothing against French people. Mm -hmm. um, and also something that when you're married, you have lovers. Like, I always think of French married people having lovers. Right? Oh, like it's a, very a mistress. Like you're a cuckold. Yes. Like An you're adulterer. a cuckold. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say, I would just call it yay. Oh, <laughs> that would okay. be my term. Well, thank you, Candace Bushnell. I am thank so you. glad. Don't glamboozle and let's all be good to each other and we'll be right back. <laughs>